What is going on, YouTube? Dr. Way here, and if you're looking to get the best value in more than gems, then you've come to the right place. And I'll cover what to do whether you're free to play or if you're a spender and once you're free to play and you don't need to do certain things anymore, we'll get to know what those certain things are, what, what I would do at that point. So I'll lay out everything about the More Than Gems event. And this is a phenomenal event that you can really um, leverage the way that you spend your gems to get, in, I mean, insane value. In fact, I wouldn't spend any gems, um, any, any gems on the VIP shop or outside of like a wheel event or some other major event if it wasn't More Than Gems. Amen. So let's get into it. Right. So I might as well pull that back up. I would recommend if you're free to play the best gym value to go heads, which is why you're doing this event. It's why it's appealing to you is the goal heads is to just get to 7,000 and that's it. If you're free to play, how would I, how would you do that? Right. Um, I think the most natural option, if you're not VIP, at least 10, right. You want to get to VIP 10. It's a crucial VIP level because it's giving you one legendary sculpture per day. Right. You want to 100% um, go into the VIP, not the VIP shop, but the regular shop, and just buy 7,000 um, VIP, and that's 7,000 gems, and then you'll get two go heads and some other miscellaneous rewards on top of that. And every time this event comes around, just do that. Um, VIP 10 does seem like an eternity to get to when you're free to play. Um, but 7,000 gems, you know, because it comes around every two two months or so, does put a nice little dent in that. And it's just something to uh, over time work, work towards. And if you can manage to be patient enough, I think doing that until VIP 12 is extremely valuable as well because you'll get two legendary sculptures a day. So you're essentially doubling the amount of sculptures you get passively in the game per day. I think that's phenomenal, right? Now... Once you're at that VIP 14-ish level, I mean VIP uh, 12, excuse me, VIP 12-ish level, then you might um, start thinking about um, getting your castle to level 25. And I mean, you can get this for free, you know, uh, without gems rather, um, just rallying uh, fort, forts, but it's going to take a long time. And most people end up gemming some amount of books of the covenant, right? So, you know, when that time comes, I would recommend only doing this after your VIP 12 as a free to play. You can gem some number of books of covenant so you can get to, to um, eventually castle level 12. Because that's usually, I mean, castle level 25, because that's usually what bottlenecks you from developing your other buildings, getting your academy to 25 and um, attaining the T5. Okay. So now whales or people who've been playing the game long enough don't have that problem um, where they have to do the castle or the VIP level. I'm VIP 15 and I already have T5. So I still should participate in this event because I still want to go ahead. So what do I do, right? So what I do is I'll go to the VIP shop and I'll just point out some really phenomenal options that, that you can take advantage of. So scroll down. At my VIP level, I'm pretty sure the 24 hour speed ups are good. And the VIP, if you're VIP 18, I'm pretty sure the uh, legendary materials is, is probably fine. I don't have that. Um, I think those are great options. But for me, right, I like the 24 hour speed ups. In fact, that's what I end up talking myself into. Um, if you just want, generally speaking, just more goal heads, I think that that's okay as well. I can't argue with that. If you're trying to go a little bit more fighting focused, you have the 50% um, expansions really good. You need those for KVK. The 24-hour enhanced attack, if you're into that, I prefer 24-hour enhanced defense. That gives you 10% defense. I think that's phenomenal. Also, the materials uh, are good as well because obviously some people aren't VIP 8 to 18, but they still need materials, right? I think the epic materials are a good choice as well. That's what I would do to get until um, 7,000 7, uh, gems, right? And I think for a whale, you can go to 25,000 gems. That's fine for you. If you're more of a medium spender, I think you're better off spending your gems on will events and egg event where you're going to get more of what you actually need versus um, the shop. I think there's better events for your gems, but this is still a very good event that you want to participate in at least to 7,000. 
25,000 if you got the gems and you're a whale. Okay, amen. That's all it is for this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Like and subscribe if the uh, content was relevant for you. It grows the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.